Well, the hunt has been on to find New Zealand's TNG Garden to Table Young Gardener of the Year. And now we are joined by Linda Hellinan, gardening expert and one of the judges, to tell us more about the inaugural awards. Welcome, Linda. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> uh, really nice to have you here. So tell me about these awards and what do the kids have to do and how do they win it? How did it all work? So this is the first time this competition's been run and it was open to all of the schools that are part of the Garden to Table um, charity scheme in schools. And so they're, all the kids are learning how to grow in schools and then they take what they've grown and they take it into the classroom and they cook it and then they all sit down and eat it. It's so, so good. It's such a great idea. I mean, anyone who has small children knows how hard it is to get them to eat anything that's like, <laughs> you know, even slightly healthy or looks like a vegetable. So it's kind of a way of introducing to them in, in the school environment and getting them all the way through. So, it, yeah, it's been really good. And I guess the way we change how we live has dictated that a lot of kids don't know about gardens. So this is a way to re-establish that. Definitely. I mean, a lot of kids don't know where their food comes from. They think it comes from the supermarket. You know, mum and dad buy it in plastic bags <laughs> yeah, and bring it true. home. Yeah. So they've never seen a carrot grow in the ground or a lettuce or anything like that. And so mm. this is a, kind of an extension to the normal curriculum. So it's kind of like a different sort of classroom. And also, I think that if you are uh, if you've grown that vegetable, you're going to eat that thing because you know how much time it took to grow that vegetable. Well, they're pretty clever too in this program because they can, they get those kids eating kale, and I, I, anyone who can do that is amazing. <laughs> but they make things like pizza and pasta, and so it's you know it's a really fun experience for them as well. And in this competition, what they were trying to do was find kids who had taken what they'd learnt at school and taken it home. And so we chose five young gardeners, aged between seven and ten, and um, these are all kids who had done things outside of the school environment. So things like there was one kid from North Canterbury um, who had one an AMP show award for his healthy school lunchbox and he'd come up with this idea through the Garden to Table program. Awesome. So yeah, and another kid was growing um, you know, tomatoes and raspberries to make a little bit of pocket money. And so yeah, it's it's, it's really nice and encouraging. Yeah. Definitely. Bless the AMP show, still I know. cranking out some good morals. <laughs> we love that. So you were one of the judges. What was it hard as a judge to pick some winners? Oh, it is difficult because you know both the schools and the young gardeners are all fantastic entrants. And so Al Brown, the chef, well-known chef, was one of the judges. And we also had somebody from TNG, which used to be known as Turners and Growers, obviously oh, the right. produce company. Okay. Yeah, TNG. Thank you. Got it. And so they were involved as well as sponsors. And so all of the schools they get a. Um, a brand new glass house uh, if they win and the kids get uh, gardening vouchers and gardening tools and gardening gear to take home as well so yeah they all had a good time I think and it was it was quite tricky to choose winners I because bet. they're all you know they're fantastic so in their own right well you just want to reward the effort too don't you yeah, yeah little ones so seven is pretty small so what do you think what do you think is so important about these awards and what got you involved as a judge um, I think one of the things about gardening I mean obviously I got into gardening as a teenager it was not cool you know, my mates were like, well, what is she doing? You know, no, gardening's generally this is not, not cool, cool until you are a, in a new relationship and you've yeah. got a house that you've built. Or you of. buy a house, yeah. yeah. But the thing with kids is that gardening appeals to the kids who, you know, might have learning difficulties or come from a home where they don't have the access to the outdoors. And so there's lots of sort of skills that they can learn that they, they don't pick up anywhere else. And it gives some kids, you know, some of the kids who wrote these entries were like, you know, I don't do well in any other area and I'm doing really well in the garden. And so it's great to kind of add that extra thing. You know, I was never any good at school. Sport, so I was yeah. lucky I was good at gardening. Teaches <laughs> them some patience as well, doesn't it? Definitely. And, and, and nurturing sense, things. Yeah, and a sense of achievement as well, you know. They can actually tangibly see what's happening in front of them. So I think it's really important. What fun it must have been for everybody. What got you interested in gardening? I don't know. People often ask me that and I wish I had some fancy story I could say. But I just started a garden when I was a teenager, put some things in and they grew. And I thought that was quite fun. You know, we're all different. Some yeah, of us are a bit are. geeky as kids. <laughs> okay, so, so while we've got you here and you are an expert, what are the top winners? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. So yeah. Top tips right now. To be, what should we be well, planting right now? Well, this weekend, obviously, Labor Weekend is the bomb for gardeners. You know, three whole days to get your garden done for summer and so you can plant pretty much everything everything you want to eat in summer you can plant it this weekend so you can get your strawberries in if you haven't already tomatoes basil lettuces cucumbers pumpkins you know if you can grow it you can pretty much grow it now and how many should you be planting because I always get this wrong and go oh I've got my strawberries two of them yum delicious yeah. <laughs> like should you plant bulk I often say to people you know if you've never planted anything and you want to start a garden just look at what you buy from the supermarket or wherever you buy your food each week and try to grow some of those things so if you love salads grow salad greens you know you can just sprinkle some seeds in a pot and away they go if you like spuds because who doesn't you know country girl like like me a good spud <laughs> yeah. you know you can plant those now and they'll be a little bit late for Christmas but you have beautiful potatoes right through summer for potato salad so oh, those yes, are the things the you buy yeah. you go away at Christmas Grow time them. and all your plants die oh this is the beautiful thing about growing potatoes is that you can ignore them and they will just stay there and wait <gasps> for you to come home nice. perfect thing in the world there you go <laughs> <laughs> great work thank you so much and uh, no doubt you'll be looking forward to these awards next year. Yeah, well, I should actually just point out, though, that Hao Moana School in um, 
Hawke's Bay. They were the winners and Brilliant. they did a fantastic job. They grew Rocket for one of the local restaurants and they have pasta machines you can take out from the school library, like a book. A pasta Brilliant. machine. Yeah, great, isn't it? Oh, there that you. is absolutely oh. magic. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much, Linda. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Awesome. Now, if you want to find out more about the TNG Garden to Table Young Gardener of the Year Award, so you can head along to their website. I'm a bit of a gardener. I love it, actually. I love getting out there, mowing the lawns, you know, looking yeah, after the plants. No, it's true. <laughs>